Hey Chemistry, Mrs. KJ here, and I am going over 1.05 percent composition. So let's look at our definition first. Percent composition. The percent composition of a component in a compound is the percent of the total mass of the compound that is due to that component. Now, let's put that in normal words. For example, what percent of water's mass is due to the oxygen? Here's another idea. Think about yourself. What percent of your body weight is the bones that are inside your body? What percent of your body weight are your muscles? Okay, percent composition just means we're looking at a whole piece and we're breaking it down to look at little parts. Here's another example. Think about a delicious s'more. And you have all the s'mores ingredients, the graham cracker, the marshmallow, the chocolate, and the bottom graham cracker. So we could take the total weight or mass in grams of all the ingredients, and we want to know what percent of the mass of goodness is marshmallow. So we would take the weight of the marshmallow, or more specifically, the mass of the marshmallow in grams, divided by the total mass of the entire s'mores to figure out what the percent composition of marshmallows are inside a s'more. I know, I say that word funny. All right, so, but we're going to be looking at chemicals specifically. So to find the percent composition of a component in a compound. So in other words, if I'm looking at an entire chemical and I just want to know what percent of the mass is oxygen or what percent of the mass is carbon, this is what we're going to do. Number one, find the molar mass of the compound by adding up the masses of each atom in the compound using the periodic table or molecular mass calculator. In other words, the periodic table. Um, I stole this from a different website, and so, but basically, if you click on these links, it's the same thing. Just go to the periodic table and find the masses. Number two, calculate the mass due to the component in the compound you are solving for by adding up the mass of these atoms. Three, divide the mass due to the component by the total molar mass of the compound and multiply it by 100. In other words, okay, simple, simple, simple version <laughs> is to find the percent composition. Find the mass of specifically what you're looking for. Divide it by the total mass of the entire thing times 100 to get a percent. So let's do some examples. Let's look at carbon dioxide. If I look at carbon dioxide, I want to know what percent is carbon and what percent is oxygen. Now, I know there's only one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen, but we're looking at how heavy they are. And carbons are lighter than oxygen. So we actually have to look at the periodic table. And how much does each carbon weigh? Each carbon is 12.01. Each oxygen is 16. Why do I multiply by 2? Because there's two atoms of oxygen in every one molecule of carbon dioxide. Add them up. And my total mass for carbon dioxide is 44.01 grams per mole. Now, if I just want to find how much of this total is carbon or how much of this total is oxygen, then I can say, let's look at the carbon. Carbon by itself is 12.01. The entire carbon dioxide is 44.01. Divide them times 100. 27.29% of the mass of carbon dioxide is due to just the carbon. Okay, now to get the oxygen, we could either do the exact same thing. We could take how much our oxygen weighs, which is 16 times 2, and we could divide that by the total, 44.01 times 100, and we get 72.71%, or if we just minus it from 100, you'd see we get the same percentage that way. So either way, you can either do both of them or get your totals and subtract from 100. All right, let's do another example. Let's do C6H12O6, which is glucose, the stuff that your body uses to make energy, and um, plants make it in photosynthesis. All right, so what are we going to start? Well, we need to know the molar mass of glucose. So how many atoms of carbon does each molecule have? Six. So, and then we get the 12.01 from the periodic table, plus the hydrogen. How many atoms of hydrogen are there? 12. Look on the periodic table. What's the mass of each one? 1.01 gram. 
plus oxygen. How many atoms of oxygen? Six. How much does each oxygen weigh? Sixteen. So we multiply those two numbers, add it all up, and we get 180 grams per mole. That's how much the entire thing weighs, or the mass of the entire thing. So if you think you got this, hit pause and tell me what percent of this total weight is just the weight of carbon, just the weight of hydrogen, just the weight of oxygen. And so carbon, carbon, when we add up the fact that every one carbon atom weighs 12.01 grams, and there's six of them, my total weight due to carbon is 72.06. And I divide that by my total, which is 180. And so 40% of the entire thing is carbon. All right, well, let's go ahead and do oxygen right away. So how much does just the oxygen weigh? There's six atoms. They each weigh 16. So total, it's 96 divided by 180 times 100 gives me 53.33% is due to the oxygen, and 40% is due to the carbon, so my total percent for hydrogen would be 6.67. I know it says negative, that's because I did the percents minus 100 instead of 100 minus the percents, because I was being lazy on my calculator. If that messed you up, basically 100 minus 40 minus 53.33. And my percent hydrogen is 6.67 because we round to hundredths. Or if it was money, we round to the pennies spot. Okay, that's it for percent composition. Remember, the whole idea is to think about what part are we looking for? How much does that part weigh? Divide it by how much the entire thing weighs. So do the worksheet, check your answers. As always, if you're having problems or need help, come see me. Good luck.